Hey guys, it's Shane Spiel, and a lot of you guys asked me to film this sucker. This is my acoustic wish bass, made by Steve Wishnevsky. Wishnevsky, um, you can find his basses on eBay if you go uh, search wish bass. W i s h b a s s wish bass. <laughs> So this is a very strange, a very absurd instrument. It is the banana bass acoustic bass guitar. Uh, it is made with plywood. Um, looks like Purple Heart on the neck. Has a uh, one, two, there's three piece neck on the back. As typical with wish basses, Steve does not spend a lot of time on the finish. He calls them paintbrushes for musicians. He creates a tonal monster and then puts a quick coat of polyurethane on without even really sanding the polyurethane down or buffing it out and then ships it off. You'll see um, tooling marks. It's just very rustic is how I would put it. But here's the thing. This is a completely handmade base. And I bought it for $300. He makes some of the wildest basses out there. I also have another one of his. This is one of his electric basses. The, the style for this one he calls the lobe. Absolutely beautiful work. Fretless basses. It's got a very flat fingerboard. I would almost prefer it to be a little rounded. But um, I used this on my album uh, for the song... Quarter to nine off of Stay Primal. And I'll plug that in for a different video one of these days. The banana base. Let's take a look. Whenever I first got it, there was no real buffing out of the finish. This plywood is extremely thin. Very thin. Um, we're talking like eighth inch plywood. And it had the feeling, a cheap feeling, almost like balsa wood orange crate. You know, the crates of clementines you see. It's kind of how this felt. So what I did was I took um, quad ot uh, steel wool and really gave this a good buffing out. And it feels so much better now, but the thing is very lightweight. And... It has that beautiful moi now wish put a couple nails he put nails at the third fifth seventh ninth and twelfth frets that are right here and then there's some chalk marks whenever he first built it to let him know where to go and he never erased the chalk marks i just kept them on there the base is patterned after a harp guitar. Harp guitars would have this upper bout here, and harp strings would usually go from the bridge up to here. Well, he just took it and just used that as kind of like the inspiration for the body. But the nice thing is, the acoustic tones on this thing, just it comes out of here, and as you're playing, sometimes you just want to put your head on there. I keep playing blues on this, um, but sometimes I like to do a drop D. A full open D tuning. There it is, the Wish Bass Banana Bass by Steve Wishnevsky. He makes like probably five to seven different basses a week, and they sell 
for anywhere between $200 and $500 a piece. Trust me, they are the best value, the best bargain you can find for that one instrument that's not in your collection, a fretless bass. All right, you guys take care and uh, keep in touch. More videos coming soon. Bye-bye. This is a very strange and cut. Hi, you and a... Hi, I'm Dale Puckett.